good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. I can't even show you how sad it is that it's like already midnight outside and I just got off work. Just kidding. We're starting. We're having a happy day. There's so much clean laundry around. We just have to put it away. And even though Sarah did all that amazing grocery shopping yesterday, we are doing quick food from Jewel tonight. And we're also going to pick up last, the last couple things off our list from Jewel so that we can finish wrapping up this joint, wrapping up the kitchen, and decorating our Christmas tree. So, are you ready for Christmas cheer? Boys with me in their Christmas pajamas. Walk into the jewel. Christmas bag. Let's go. Gonna grab like eight or so items. Come back, eat quick dinner, decorate, party all night. Not really. Guess, guess the movie. While the boys went to Jewel, I took a quick bath, and now I'm going to clean up the family room so that it feels good to decorate, to like bring more out here. Um, it's a little chaotic after a full day of two kids. I know that the toys will still be played with today, but at least we can kind of have a fresh slate before we decorate. it out without too much. Only one item not in the bag because it's just fragile. We're back from Jewel. Here is our haul. I mean like for dinner. Um, we're eating what we're calling our last pizza puffs from Jewel. Got to keep Sarah's ticker strong and healthy. And Teddy fell asleep I think like on the walk back. Um, so we're gonna keep our fingers crossed. He has a good nap here. It's uh, earlier. It is earlier. Yeah. Really feel. yeah. It feels like it's midnight, but it's almost five. But it's literally dark out. Like dark, dark. Not like oh, the sun just dark. An hour makes such a difference. If you have Disney Plus and haven't watched Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special, you need to because it's got the best Christmas banger in all of the Jam Land. Lights first. Lights first, we got the tree skirt out. Gonna get the, the lights strung up on this. I have a feeling, I think we threw away our star last year. I remember we threw away something last year. I think we threw away the star. I, know, I can't put my finger on it. I think it was a star. So we'll just put Teddy up there. <laughs> well, aren't you fancy? Wait for it. This is not cool. This I can't say it. There you go. Mall Gloomheim. Out of your tin cup. Out of my tin cup. Sarah got me this for Christmas, what, three years ago, two years ago? I think it was when he was born, so two. I have family from. It's like the farthest Marcel. back we can get to his family. Like his family goes. Western Germany. Good news. The star was there. What did we say we were gonna buy new? Oh, I got a light out. Does it look beautiful? Uh oh. Something might be wrong with our star. But tree's looking good, right? Yeah. I love it. Good afternoon, Teddy. How was your nap? Hey, he fell asleep at the store, silly. <laughs> Teddy, look. Wow. <laughs> you love it? Wow. I don't know who Sarah made a deal with, but Sarah made a deal with somebody because as we were getting ready, which I have like high anxiety of putting lights in the trees because 
your mom taught me how to put them on her way and like it's gotta get done a certain way as Bandit would say. It's gotta get done. It's gotta get done. And so she's like, I just hope that Teddy sleeps until you're done with the lights so he can be here for the decorating. And guess what? You woke up right as I was done. Perfect. Christmas miracle. <sighs> I'm like a lump in my throat about to decorate with our two babies. Yeah, it's nice, right? Yeah. You think the tree's nice? Think it's pretty? He <laughs> can't keep his eyes off it. Oh. <laughs> All right, we busted out the vinyl. Leslie Odom Jr. We're gonna hang some stockings first over here to the left of that beautiful, the Dream City. What are you ruckus things doing? Bunch of ruckus. Where are your Christmas things, Daddy? Check it out. We got some stocking for all of us hung. James opened up the whole box of candy canes, so he's putting them back. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> the decorating has begun. We've got a Chicago flag, a hidden pickle ornament. For and this one is my mom's picture. I'm not even gonna show it because she was like, she was embarrassed by it. It's such a pretty picture. Yeah. We How old is she in there, 16? What? How old is she in that? Yeah, probably 16. But. We always put it up, but I don't want to put it in the front, but I want to put it somewhere you can see it. And I'm not going to show it because I'm a respecter, but I'm going to put it up because it has to go up. Yeah. But she just was always goofy about it. So there she is. And you pinch it, and it's called decorating the Christmas tree. Yes. Say hi, Mickey. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Yes, do more. Hi, bird. Hi. Bird. You're right, it is a bird. I don't know if I can do this one-handed. <laughs> Teddy wanted to join in on the decorating. And James is obsessed with this dog one, but unfortunately we need new batteries in. Well, isn't this a tree? Look at this. Christmas pajama city and a decorated Christmas tree. Oh, she's so tired. We're going to bed. And yeah, Lily just says tomorrow's going to be windy. Oh, gosh. Dopey challenge training starts back up. Comment below if you think Peter should get a Planet Fitness. Um, membership just for a treadmill. It's good to be home, running in the morning. Help home. us, send us inspirational quotes, tweet us motivational encouragement. Sarah's also going to finish the vlog in the morning, so it's like two things that we need to get up for. Right, and I have a dentist appointment tomorrow, so we gotta. It's good to be home. Good to be home. Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs, if you know this video, make sure you come back every day. I'm out on the legs. Gotta keep up the dopey. Haven't run in two weeks, but I did run a 20 mile the day that we went to Disney, so I'm hoping that means something. Here's the city, it's beautiful. It's very cold. It's 24 with the wind chill, which there is a wind that keeps gusting up here on the lakefront. It's supposed to be uh, 11, so, um, I don't know. That's stupid. Ow! <laughs> oh gosh. We are still rocking our Christmas jammies. Um, and yeah, happy, happy Wednesday. Today's big event is I am getting the beginnings of a crown put on one of my teeth. I took all of your advice, got a second opinion after it kind of felt like it was out of nowhere. The fact of the matter is that it wasn't as out of nowhere um, as it probably seemed because I have not been able to get x-rays. Oh, daddy's awake. Um, for quite some time because I've been expecting um, and just the timing hadn't worked out so they even said like it didn't even look that bad but the x-rays showed otherwise and that was that was the second opinions opinion as well so I'm getting a crown today I'm gonna go get Teddy Are you awake Are you a big kid just for looking over there James is doing a good job but we are we're learning to live with a Christmas tree and ornament. As much prep and prevention we could do to to not get sicky bugs after Disney and travel and the holiday. The boys are a bit 
sniffly. And not too bad, like their spirits have not changed at all. Teddy probably has it the worst of us. I also have to take into consideration he did just get shot, so his immune system kind of is figuring stuff out. But his he's got kind of a gnarly cough and I don't like it. But he when he was seen at the doctor, they said steam shower. Um, and just getting any yuck out that we can. We are still sort of in unpack, getting our house situated mode. Um, so we'll probably stay in our bubble for a, for a few days anyways. I busted out my winter coat for this walk to the dentist. It is finally time to. We recently saw somebody say that like, you should really like, really only take it out once it gets really cold because you'll kind of like trick yourself into thinking like oh this is how winter is going to be when it's like 40 degrees but no like now it is cold and i need this jacket um and i did something so silly um you know how like you find stuff in your winter coat pockets like found a pair of sunglasses found a pair of mittens um, well, I found a bag of Canterbury eggs, probably from Easter, <laughs> which, like, still probably would have been questionable to eat anyways, but I don't care about that sort of stuff, and chocolate is, um, I don't know, it's my thing, so I ate it. I'm on my way to the dentist. I ate chocolate, which I probably already shouldn't have eaten. On the way to the dentist, so I'm just over here, like, trying to clear my mouth up. My lips are dry, my hand is frozen. Okay, it's, it's only, only like two more blocks away. Uh, 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 I can do this. One hour later. I'm totally numb. It is so cold. It's colder. <laughs> there. Um, I think I might just like, take this off later. But anywho, I'm pretty numb. I have a temporary crown in, and I go back in two weeks to get it resituated. And I don't know if I mentioned this before. But the reason I'm getting a crown is because I have so much filling in that tooth already. I don't have a good, um, a good history with cavities. Um, and it has so many fillings and it needed another one that they were worried that it would crack. And I would lose the tooth if I didn't get the crown. So that's the reason behind the crown. But yeah, it's in. I go back. And it was painless. I was expecting a lot much, like a lot more discomfort. But I'm gonna go to Walgreens to pick up a couple of things. You know, I, I like a pick me up after after an appointment. Sarah's my very dear bestest friend because she got me my favorite chips on the way home from her dentist. I had a very busy day yesterday at work, and a very busy day today at work, and a very busy day kind of tomorrow at work. And some days I just like forget that like I'm in charge of a team and I am responsible. All I have to say about that is I have like 10 more minutes of work. Does James in fact like to play with these earrings and coins in the bassinet still? Wow. What did you just find? Oh, thank God it wasn't a pinky. Yeah, you found Frosty. Whoa. And we're keeping our fingers crossed that Teddy stays asleep, but I... Put him in the crib, he's oh, sleeping. Yeah. This was his drool from him chewing on my shirt. Oh. So I'm gonna hang out with James. Oh no. Well, uh, Sarah cooks dinner. <laughs> Peter cleaned the kitchen. And I am excited to cook. I'm gonna make standard, like, is it called the Buddha bowl? I don't know. There's a little bit of rice, a little bit of quinoa, a little bit of greens, chickpeas, some veggies. I don't know, I just kind of go with the flow. I think I am going to make some black beans though and have Teddy try those. Um, chickpeas. Yeah, just gonna go with the flow. I'm going to make half rice, half quinoa because I don't like quinoa really, um, but I know it's good for me and I can tolerate it when it's like, you can barely tell that it's in with the rice. So a cup of each makes a lot nice to just have it in the fridge especially when Peter is training because it's nice nice fuel for him so have that with water gonna let it boil get it cooked up that thing is my favorite appliance okay chickpeas I 
I had them the perfect amount of time in the oven last time and I don't remember. I think it's like low and slow, like 350 for 45 minutes. So, drained them, I gotta rinse them. So keeping it simple here, I'm just gonna put like two spoonfuls of pesto, mix it up, a little bit more olive oil, salt, pepper, and that's it. Just a little bit of pesto flavor for the bowls. So just spread that out on a baking sheet. I also added some cloves of garlic that I'm gonna roast. Thought, why not? So hoping this 350 for 45 minutes works for us. This is, this is boiling, so I'm gonna stir it up. Drop the temp and cover it. 15 minutes. This is not the right lid. Here's the right one. So I chopped up mini cucumbers and cherry tomatoes. They are gonna be mixed in with the rice and quinoa as the base. Put some lemon juice over it, salt, pepper, garlic. I just made this quick little dressing for the spinach. It is red wine vinegar, olive oil, salt, pepper, minced garlic, capers and their juice, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce and lemon juice. So I'm gonna mix the spinach in that. Kept it simple with the beans. Just poured the whole thing in. I used a little thing of Mrs. Grass soup mix. Um, so this is not a totally plant-based meal. It is vegetarian. So you can see a little bit of onions in there. It has a little bit of milk in it. Um, lime juice, and what else? Cumin. The base is ready. I realized before I forgot to say that dill weed also goes on that. So lemon juice, salt, pepper, dill weed with those veggies. Now for the toppings. Peter says olives, mine does not. A good handful of hummus, pickles, avocado with lime juice and salt, and banana peppers, as well as the spinach in that dressing. Just threw some naan in the oven with the chickpeas. They still have a little ways to go. And here's our finished product. They are hefty, full can of beans, full can of chickpeas, avocado. There's so much goodness in here. Um, I wish we had the garlic dip from Trader Joe's, but it's okay. Here's Jamesy's version of dinner. He's got pickles and cucumbers and tomatoes. He hasn't been a fan of bread lately, which is just like, what? So I have these little pita crackers dipped in hummus and guacamole, and then he has like the rest of that guacamole he'll probably eat with a spoon. And then the rice and quinoa mixed with the black beans. So if you follow us on Instagram, you probably saw in our story, I think yesterday, where Sarah asked for like input on suggestions on like siblings getting bigger. So like one of the things about us completely outgrowing this apartment so far is like Teddy got really good sleep in Disney World in a crib. He's in a bassinet at home and we think that's affecting him being so close to Sarah because he breastfeeds with the bassinet right next to the bed or in the same room and him just getting him to be a big kid, he can like kick and feel the sides and the bottom of the bassinet. So we've been like debating on like, do we buy a new crib? Where does that go? Do we buy a mini crib? But we know that's like a temporary fix. So right before dinner, Teddy actually fell asleep and I put him in James's crib. And he slept for two hours, which is like a very long stretch for him. And it's just like another reiteration of like, we need to do something like that. Like we don't know if we're gonna turn the day bed, get a guardrail for James. I'm a little nervous at how high it is. Or if we get a second crib for that room, or if we just got a lot of different options. Um, and so also James like almost fell asleep because we had timing issues with his nap, so he didn't get a nap today. So he basically almost fell asleep at the dinner table, right? As he was done, like I took him out, trying to get him to fall asleep on me and he didn't. So then we just laid in our bedroom, me and Sarah and James watching Frozen 2. But he never fell asleep, he's wide awake, and then Teddy woke up, so we're gonna do baths and start the normal bedtime routine. But it was a sweet 30 minutes that Sarah, James, and I had just watching Frozen 2 in bed together. Showing some of my favorite ornaments for the sign off instead of my face. Oh, this one. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>